Hello guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In today's demo, we are going to connect Snowflake with Microsoft Purview and see that if we are able to connect Snowflake and if Purview is able to scan all the asset present into a Snowflake and it is able to display all this uh, details into purview or not so let's go ahead this is a purview portal and uh, we have created this purview portal you can refer our earlier video for that one and also we had the snow flag where all the stable details we have we you can also refer that earlier video for creating um, the snow flag test instance we have all this in place so let's go ahead into purview portal right now if you see there is no source no asset right now so if you search anything uh it is not able to find anything because there is nothing inside this one so if we go into browse asset also uh, there is nothing right now and we can see that let's go into and try to register that uh, source right in source we if we go into you can go into map view and tabular view also but let's go here and try to find that snow flag register sources so snow flag demo one let me find and we have to provide which server identifier so it is saying that snow flag computing.com and if we go into our snow flag this is different one so for um, finding the correct uh, path we have to go into admin section and in admin section if you go into account section here is the account if you see that hover in that one we can see that details of that account with the snowflake computing on so we can put the details and it is asking which collection you want to put that one so collection is the concept that where it is going to ask so if you go into collection you can create the collection based on your organization structure and your department structure depending upon how many departments you want to create you can have sub collection where you can have suppose there is entertainment collection where some movies they are right entertainment or sales or something like let's say create the sales one where you can create the sales collection and then you can go ahead and create a new sub collection based on your team or may, may be based on service which under the sales department you are providing right something like that test service let me put that and this service is no flag so that we know and you can put the admins that who is going to manage this collection based on your team based on need right so let me go ahead and register this no flag as a source and we have this one and i'm going to put into this one uh this sub collection and the snow flag then once i click the register it is going to register if you notice that one right now we have not given any username and password and other details how to connect it is just registering this url into our system and when we will set up the scan and other things it is going to ask the details for that one so if you see now uh, these details that it looks like this one that uh, um, under the sales organization this uh, um, this team is there and uh, there is a source for that one so let's go ahead and see the details for this one uh, so if you see this one right now we have not um, scan anything is not there let's go ahead and create the new scan so So it is asking for credential. We do not have any credentials. So we are going to create a new credentials for that one. Okay, it is going to be basic one because this uh, Snowflake is supporting that one. So it is asking for username and password and other details and key vault connection. So let's first go ahead and see that details that uh, how it is going to connect with this one. So if we go into documentation of this one, uh, this is the documentation how to connect that Snowflake in purview. So this is the way we have to do that one that it should we have to create a um, user and then a role and purview reader and it should be that sysadmin and other things 
uh, you can use existing warehouse or you can create a new warehouse in that one compute warehouse and all the details so let's go ahead and quickly do a uh, few things into our snow flag instance so let me go into worksheet uh, let's go into new worksheet create so let's run this one that i am anyway i'm logging with this uh, um, role but let me do and then let me grant the sys admin for this one okay now i do not need to create this one warehouse and other things because if you go into that details uh, that warehouse we have already one compute and uh, if you have seen video we we cannot create new warehouse because it is that demo instance and the standard one so we cannot create so let's use that existing warehouse um, itself for this purpose so I'm not going to use this one, but I'm going to use this grant permission one. So if you go into see this one, I can use this purview where this is our compute warehouse, not purview one. So let me click this one. Uh, this warehouse name is compute one. So I'm going to assign this one for usage purpose. So we did that one. Let's go and create the purview user which uh, details with all this. Let me copy this one. And so I'm going to create a user called purview with the password. Let's put some complex password which I will delete after demo. Okay. And Okay. Uh, we have to give the role for this new user and then all this to do. Let's go and now we have to go for you our database purpose that which database it is there, right? So as you go into data section, we have test db. So we have to provide that DB name and other things. So it says that usage it can fetch up that purview can fetch up the usage. It can fetch that usage for all schema, usage for procedure, usage for function. All the details uh, it has it needs access so that it can, if required, it will fetch up while it is doing this one. And all the future object which is we are going to create. This is the new syntax that on future it is marking that saying that one we can do that one. So it's that one right. So let me select all. Let me run. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so this all um, things we have to do, uh, and now we should be able to register this one. So we know this one, and this one we can see both is there so okay let's go into this section now we have to provide the user so we created user called purview so we can go ahead and give the user as purview here and then we have to provide that password right we created password cannot be done here so we have to create a key vault link on that one so okay and it is we have one key vault into our section software demo but we have to assign this uh, msi to our key vault so let's go into key vault so this is our key vault and i am going to add access policy and give that msi access for now i am giving everything but we can limit whatever is required only the get another list we can so Okay, so we have given that one identity one access and if we create this one, 
yeah we have given access policy and only gate should be there for secret but i have given everything now we have to provide the secret where we have kept right so this no flag password and what was the password we created over there let's pull this password and put it here and let's take this one and let's go and we are going to use this key vault connection password uh, secret name is this one let's see now this is going to use this one uh, this details whatever provided by us and then we have to provide some more details that uh, which come warehouse it is going to access so we know that compute warehouse is there and we have to provide the warehouse and we know that our db name is test db we have to provide the schema is all required so let's go and continue this one let's see that one uh, we can we can set up that uh, recurring that it is going to scan based on our schedule or only once so i'm going to do right now only once i hope it should work let's save and run this one so it is saved now it is queued it might take some time so let's wait and see that what is happening if you see that right now it is in progress and asset is in the state is six so that way it is able to connect that one let's see it when it finishes we can go and search that one into the catalog so yeah it is completed six asset is discovered i guess we have uh, two into so yeah if you see this one, uh, we have two tables in this database which we give in, and then it is scanning the schemas and other things also. So let's go ahead and see that one. All the details we can see that how much time it took and details. Now let's go into collection and see if we are able to find something from collection. So in collection also we see this one source now and six asset asset is there. We have not assigned any role right now. Collection admin and other things I am there only. So we can we can go ahead and give the details for who are the people we can handle for collection admin, data source admin or team admin. We can go in details now if we go into catalog section right so previously there was no uh, assets now we have six asset and if we search that one now search should display that one so now we have movie and there is movie table and then there are fields inside with movie name one source six asset is there if we go into browse asset also we can see the details by um, this one that now we are able to see movie table test table two tables was there and database name is test db schema to schema and snowflake server is also an asset so that way we can go there is no reports into that one only tables is there right now glossary term is not there because we have not created glossary term we can go ahead and create new term from here and system default basic field uh, so test term so we we can go ahead and do that one that what we could set up all these details about that associate with details for uh, tables and other things right business details for tables and uh, all this so once we create the glossary we can see that one glossary term is here we can go into browse sets and then if you want to put that one that uh, view selected we can go and we can see that more details about this table so we can set up that all the details that which term we have so we created test term right so we can say that associate that glossary with this asset so now we can close that and if you go into this one now details of table we can go and see that this is the associated with glossary term and also we can see the properties of all this table what is the this schema for that tables right all this schema is coming from all this test number and other things is coming lineage we do not have right now 
contact, we can add the people in edit by editing that who are the expert for this data set and who are the owner for this one and what is the relation of this one. So if we edit this one and if you want to try that, okay, which is the um, one. So if we say who are the people who are the owner expert, we can mention that all the details and so that this will be coming when somebody is searching that one they will reach out to you for approval or any other understanding of that one once they can go and once we enable that workflow then request access can be done from here we will see that and how to enable workflow and other things next table but this was the basic demo i wanted to connect the snow flag with uh, azure purview and I hope that that should be useful for discovery purpose. If you have a lot of to place a lot of disparate data sources and you want to provide any discovery to your business user or supporting that one, this is a great tool to have. Thank you.